Why, hello, young Matthew. How are you? It's just me and you, I think, isn't it? Oh, and here's Jerry from Texas. Hello, how are you? My early birds, getting online quickly. Oh, and we have somebody's name in Arabic, for which I cannot read the name, unfortunately. Um, excellent, Jerry is loving it. Oh, hello. Yes, I've made it. I had to walk from the house into the studio in the torrential rain. It's not good. Uh, superb 120. Hello, hello. How are you on Twitch tonight? I hope you are well. Um, hello, David. All is well with me. Hello, Gary Garrison. Hope all is well with you. Hope everybody hope everybody's okay. Um, everyone's saying hello to each other. Thomas, hello. How are we doing? I've just got out of the shower, so my hair is looking a bit dishevelled, where I have not finished blow drying it, but at the same time, I don't want to kind of flatten it because it'll just go oomph. So it's kind of a bit all over the place at the moment because it's still very, very damp. Apologies. Uh, Superb 120 says, it's been quite some time. Well, some time since you were on last because we are on line at least once a week. It is once a week at the moment, really, and I should increase that. So apologies. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I should make it a couple of times a week, shouldn't I? Matthew has some news, has some news. Come on then, Matthew. I've been waiting to hear what the news is. How are the dates going? I've been very interested. How many dates have you had since we spoke last? I think she was after a day trip to London, wasn't she? Um, where are we? Let's have a look. Uh, Daniel, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, how's the legs after the walk in Wales? Well, the walk in Wales didn't happen. Everybody bailed at the last minute, so it didn't happen. Not good. Hello, James. We're good, thank you. Hope you are. Hope your day is going well so far. My day has been going well so far, says Superb120. I'm glad your day is going well. Um, seize the day. Dear, oh dear, seize the day. You're going to get banned in a minute. Bratman or Jerry is going to be on the case with comments like that. Um, no updates on YouTube. Where, uh, Tube, you were live, but I had an idea from earlier. What's that then, Bratman? Um... Does somebody want to uh, put Caesar Day on a timeout for me? Kate's not around at the moment, brat. Um, I've just been busy lately; just haven't been on the streams, but I'm here now. Well, that's all that can, all that all that's all that matters, isn't it? That you're here now. I'm glad you are. Uh, Cody, hello. How are you? I hope you're okay. Boo on the walk. I know it's a shame. And apparently, it didn't rain all day. It was really, really grey apparently all day, but it didn't rain. Um. Hello, beautiful. Hang on, where are we? Hello, beautiful Lucy. It's George again in the United States. When I told you about me having cancer, come to find out stage four, small fell cancer. It is in my lungs, around my bronco tube, airway tube. Oh, no, that's awful. That's terrible news. Have they um, given you any ideas on treatment? Um, stage four, obviously, is, is, uh, is not good. But are they suggesting they can give you chemo or anything like that? Get on the cannabis oil. What's it like over in the States for things like cannabis oil? For medical purposes and things like that. I, I know, I, do you know what? I'm not quite sure what the law is over here at the moment. I know people that take it for all sorts of ailments. Um... <clears throat> There's a, a Facebook group. And I, do you know what? I think the Facebook group is even called Cannabis Cures Cancer. Look it up. Look it up, honestly. So many success stories of people that have had really positive um, results from using cannabis when they have been diagnosed with cancer. No, no, Jerry. We've got Jerry from Texas online, but no, not our other Jerry yet. Tanoush, hello. Can I blow you a balloon? Uh, not here. I don't have any in the studio with me right now. 
Uh, and it's in my bones, my liver, and travels through the bloodstream. I just figure I'd let you know when I get worse, I will miss your shit. Oh, George. Seriously, George. I know stage four, and it's obviously widespread. Cannabis cures cancer. Think positively. Look into it. Look into it, really. Really, really, really. Well done, Bratman, for timing him out. <laughs> We don't want comments like that, do we? Love your glasses during the week. How many times do you wear tights? And if many days do you like black tights, says Matthew Wong. Um, so most days I wear tights. Um, and I tend to wear black tights through the winter. And if I'm going out in the evening through the summer, I might wear black tights. Otherwise, I tend to wear natural tights this time of year. Yeah, and I'll definitely come to more streams to bring some positive vibes. Thanks, Superb. Excellent. Can you let us know what your actual name is, Superb? Because while well, superb is a superb name, um, it'd be good to call you by your name. Travis Jones, Miss Lucy, if no one told you today, you were doing an amazing job today. What shoes are you wearing today? Love you guys. Thanks, Travis. That's really, really kind. And you know what? I don't think anybody has told me today. So thank you. It's very appreciated. Um, today, I, I was wearing my Pradas today, actually. I wore my Prada uh, black paint shoes, which are surprisingly comfy, despite the fact that they're very high with really, really pointy toes. But I really like them. Um, so yeah, I wore those today. Uh, did you eat an, a breakfast or dinner? What did you eat? Or would you like to eat? Daniel, um, uh, do you know what? I had chips. It's not good for the diet, is it at all? Chips tonight. And a fried egg. Love chips and a fried egg. Uh, love the recent Patreon vids. Well done. Thank you, Jim. Thanks very much. Uh, legal for medical and recreational use in my state, says Rob. I think more places are tending to um, be less strict on the use of cannabis and things like that. I know over in Spain you can grow it yourself um, as long as it's not uh, being grown somewhere kind of visible to other people, if that makes sense. Um, and I think even over here in the UK, even though growing it for yourself is still illegal, I believe you, are, if you're caught with plants, um, as long as it's not more than something like eight, then I think they'll go lightly on you. Uh, Matthew says, not being very good. Oh, no, Matthew. What's happened? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Uh, David had to run the phone rang. Jim Jacobs, wish you could do the old school chats again sometime soon. I know, Jim, I need to sort that out. Maybe with the summer months coming in, um, with uh, some nice light nights, we could do a few in the garden, perhaps. Uh, I meant no updates on YouTube tonight that you were going live. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just had the notification later this evening. I do apologize. Uh, blame Kate. Um, uh, are they good, Jim? I need to sign back up. Was a member for the first few months of the year. Well, wow, Rob, Jim, Rob's asking, are the Patreon videos any good? I would say they were good, obviously, but then I'm biased. Uh, Huyen, good morning, Lucy. Hello, Huyen. Where are you saying good morning from? I take it you're in Australia or somewhere like that. I have a coffee. Merci beaucoup. Hang on, I've got a note as well. Oh. Well, this is annoying, right? So I'm going to I'm going to be completely honest with you now. Kate, bringing out my coffee, has told me to raise my seat up, which is not good because the problem is she puts it up so fucking high. Honestly, when I sit down, I'm all the way up here, and my legs are swinging around like a. F I'm not going that high because that's too high. There you are. You can have that high, but that's as high as I'm going because otherwise my feet don't touch the floor and it's really uncomfortable. Um, right, superb 120. It's hot in here. Flipping egg. <sighs> um, have you got any plans for the summer? Oh, yes, I have. Oh, now you've asked. So I am off to, where am I going? So I am off to Devon this coming weekend for a few days and then I am going down south uh, one day towards the end of the week to go to the 
Royal Bath and West Showground in Shepton Mallet to go to the Royal Bath and West Show, which is an agricultural sh agricultural show. It's good fun. I like it. Um, so I'm doing that. And then uh, the following weekend, I'm going to see Keen at Westonbury, followed by Ladies' Day at Bath Racecourse the next day. And then I don't think I'm doing anything the following weekend. And then the weekend after that, I'm off to Spain for a couple of days with some girls. And then I come back for two weeks. And then I'm off to Portugal for a few days with some other girls. And then I'm back a couple of weeks. And then I go to Spain for five weeks. Yay! Summer in the sun. Love it. So there you are. Superb 120. That's my plans for the summer. Where are the ears, Lucy? Well, they're here. They're here. But my problem is, my hair is wet. And if I put them on, I'll get lines in my hair where my hair is still wet. How about, <laughs> what if I wear them like this? That's kind of, if any of you have watched um, Wanda from Marvel, her headpiece kind of does that on her face. But she doesn't have ears. <laughs> is that a look? Is that a look that you all like? What do you think? So the ears, well, my hair is drying. The ears are not on. I apologize, but tough. Um, hang in there, George. Absolutely, George, we're with you. You are in my thoughts, my darling, sending you hugs. But stay positive and honestly, look at your options. Look at your options. Keanu, evening. Hope is all is well. Oh, I can't talk. Hope all is well, folks. What an absolutely fabulous weekend in London with my boy and 50,000 Mackhams. Knackered and skint, but all worth it. I'm glad you had a fantastic time. Brilliant. There's no more to say on the matter, but I'm glad you had a good time. Rhett. Rhett is actually quoting scripture to us. To us. Thank you, Rhett. There we go. Uh, Peter, hello and thank you, he says. Well, hello and thank you to you, Peter. Uh, Baz84 says, diet, you don't need to diet. Believe me, Baz, my summer body is on vacation. It needs to come back for when I go on vacation. Um, Peter says, I hope you're well. I am, thank you. Thomas Connolly, do you like opaque colored tights like black, brown or blue? Um, I do, actually. I have black, brown and navy opaque tights that I tend to wear in the winter. Um, sorry, DCRT, not happy that my legs are not on show tonight. George Hendricks, thank you, you're welcome. Honestly, keep, keep coming into the chats though. It'd be nice to see how you're getting on and hopefully being positive and looking at your options, hopefully we'll, um, you might get a positive result. Um, Brat man wants me to wear my ears. How's that? <laughs> um, I'll just, what about if I wear it? I'll just kind of hold them here. They're here. Um, we can grow six plants per person in the household legally now. Oh, can we? Okay. Six plants per person, wow. Uh, she decided she didn't want to see me anymore. Her loss, Matthew, her loss. There's nothing more to say on the matter, really, is there? But do you know what? Better to find out now that it's not going to go anywhere than like three months down the line when you're emotionally attached and then for her to decide that. So do you know what? I know that it's kind of like, oh, um, but better to know now. Oh, Superb says I sent my name on Whisper. Problem is, because I'm on OBS Studio, or whatever it's called, Streamlabs OBS, I can't see the Whisper. Uh, hi Kate, about time on the coffee, exactly, lol. It might cure you, I think, hope it makes the proper meds, George boy. I enjoyed the Patreon vids when I was there, Lucy. I don't doubt the new ones that are great as well. Those legs never disappoint. Thank you. You look gorgeous, Lucy, with your hair like that. Get the waves back. I haven't waved it for a while, actually. It takes a little while to uh, put the waves in it, but I must do that. Uh, Foxy girl in love with your hair. Thank you, Daniel. Feel sorry for you, Matthew. Yeah, I feel sorry as well, but you know, like I said, it's better to find out now. 
Um, that sounds like some summer fun, fun, fun. Indeed it does. Hey, gorgeous, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Daniel. Hope you are well. Del Boy Ollie, hi. Love it in those areas between Somerset and Devon. Yeah, I like it. And I used to, when I was younger, I used to go to the Royal Bath and West um, showground a lot for the Royal Bath and West show. Um, in fact, I think that's the only reason I've to the, been to the Royal Bath and West showground. And I loved it. Going around and looking at the sheep and the pigs and the llamas and the old packers and the cows and the bulls. And depending on which day you do go, they have different um, shows as well, as in... Um, they'll have like a, a um, like domestic animals section one day. So they'll have all the rabbits and there'll be uh, competitions. So you'll see all the like Angora rabbits and, and stuff like that. It's just, it's lovely. It's nice. And of course, it's like a bit of a foodie festival going on as well there. So excuses to eat lots and lots. Um, uh very busy lady lucy how's sarah and charlie they are grand uh so i spoke to sarah earlier today she's had a very busy day today but she's fine charlie i spoke to via text uh over the weekend i think it was so yeah she's fine as well uh ears are fine like this okay sorry mate, backside um being good live stream thanks steve hope you're well uh, i'm going on holiday next weekend for a full weekend of fishing yay what kind of fishing are you going for salmon fishing trout fishing carp what kind of fish uh hoping to get back to portugal villa mora in may next year Ooh, i've not been to that part i've only been to lisbon oh there we go i have ears on my shoulder um I've only been to Lisbon, and when I go in a, at the beginning of July with some girls, being one being Charlie, um, I am going to Albufeira. I've not been there before. James Ellis, so no shoe dangling tonight. No, sorry. Cheers, Bratman. I told my work colleagues, and they all laughed at me and said it wouldn't last. Oh, that's not very nice for them to laugh at you. Unless they know something about her maybe does she go on lots of dates with different people i don't know um amy says are you wearing tights i have been wearing tights all day as my hair is wet because i have literally just got out of the shower uh, i've got to go into work in the office tomorrow morning and i won't have time to wash my hair in the morning so it'll be a little whoosh, whoosh, in and out the shower um and i needed to wash my hair so i have been in the shower so my tights are not on anymore. But I've been wearing natural coloured tights today. Warfords, of course. Simeon Bennett Photography. Hi, Lucy. Nice, So nice to see you. You look beautiful and have wonderful hair. Thank you very much, Simeon. That's very kind of you. I'm not a spoon. Says, hi, I just got a full leather outfit. Leather jeans, leather shirt, a leather jacket with leather gloves. Ooh. I hope it won't be too hot for you in that. <sighs> Leather can get rather sticky. But um, sounds very nice. Very nice. Lucy's birthday next week, guys. She needs lots of gifts from her for her 60th. Okay, go and do one. You're older than me. Um, typical Matthew, they were just jealous. Absolutely. The fact that you had a date and they didn't. Dry your eyes, mate. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Absolutely. At least you have Lucy Matthew like we all do. Absolutely. I've got to wear my full leather outfit tomorrow. Says I'm not a spoon brilliant i hope it's not too hot for you do you dangle regularly i dangle all the time all the time well that's low kate ouch i'm already on it for your birthday girl thanks brap um tell boy ollie says nice james ellis when will the shoe dangling be back i know i'm sorry james i need to sort it brap man this well i don't think i said thank you for the donate did i sorry sweetheart thank you very much that was for the ears comment wasn't it so my ears are being worn just not in the appropriate normal place um it's on a private lake on the on the caravan site we are stopping on nice and what kind of fish did you say what kind of fish are you fishing for um leon love your channel what made you start showing off the hills what inspired you um i think it was just generally a case of i was doing the live chat sat down and it seemed to be legs tights and shoes that everybody seemed to be most interested in. I don't think anybody listened to anything I actually said, <laughs> which I don't blame them. 
And so that's kind of where it came from, I think. Uh, Kirk says, hi, Lucy, love your hair. Thanks very much. It's kind of a bit whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And I shall sleep on it tonight, of course, and it'll go all flat. But that is why I can't put the ears in yet, because if I do, it'll just go whoosh. So, um, yeah, anyway. Um, Amy Smith, I miss your legs. Sorry, Amy, I need to sort that out. Uh, Natarian says, hello, hello, how are you? That's an unusual name, not come across that one from, where does that originate from? Natarian. Um, I like your nails too, says Kirk. Thank you. I am uh, needing to get them done this week because that goes blurry, doesn't it? They're growing up a bit too long, my gel. So I need to get them done. Uh, what made you start dan dangling on live, says Thomas. Um, just because I dangle anyway. I think most people who, most girls, women, dangle their shoes. If you're wearing a court shoe or a slip-on, it's just comfortable to dangle. Um, so that's why uh, it is full of trout and carp it sounds boring to some people but it just gives me my own space I quite like a bit of fishing my dad fishes and um, so growing up I would very often go to the lake with him uh, and have a little fish um, and I still do sometimes now I haven't done it actually do you know what I've not been fishing with him since just before I think the first lockdown when we first came out of the lockdown in the summer Two years ago, I think that was the last time I had a little fish with him down on a local liver, river. Um, I also do VR fishing on my Oculus Quest headset. I catch lots of fish on there. <laughs> Lucy, the flight attendant season two this week. You haven't seen season one, Lo. You will love it. The flight attendant. Okay. I've just started. What, what have I just started watching? I've just started watching The Lincoln Lawyer. I think we were saying last week that there seems to be a lot of series being made. Um, based on films that have previously been released. So The Lincoln Lawyer, which of course the film originally was Matthew McConaughey, um, that's just come out. Well, I say it's just come out. I don't know how long it's been out. I'm watching that at the moment, but that seems to be very good so far. And I know if it's not out already, it will be out soon. The Time Traveller's Wife, which of course is based on a film as well with, um, now then, what's her name? Uh... Yeah, that bird with the brunette hair. Can't think of where her name is. Um, but yes, that's uh, due to come out very soon if it's not already. Uh, Leon says, good that you listen to the fans. I guess even if they didn't listen to you, sadly. I love your voice. Thank you. Have a nice tone. Thank you very much, Leon. That's very kind of you. Uh, Natar Nat Natarian says, I'm good. Hope you are too. I am. Thank you very much. It feels like it should be the middle of the week already. The fact that it's only Monday... Um, it's not good. I'm in the office tomorrow. Uh, I'm in the office on Wednesday. I should take my ears off my shoulder. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm in the office for the next two days and the weather is not looking fantastic, is it? Unfortunately. Um, do, 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 do. Thomas says, do you dangle for your custom vids? Absolutely, I do. They are some of the easiest custom vids I do when people ask for things like dangles. I'm more than happy to do those. I do lots of feet and leg related videos actually. Get in touch if you would like one. A uh, question for you, Lucy. If you don't live where you are now, where would you like to live? Oh, Matthew. It's a difficult one because I would not want to be away from my family for very long so it would have to be easily accessible but if family weren't an issue or if I could just up sticks and take them with me I would probably look to live in a hotter climate I have to say I do like the heat yes somewhere hot problem is I've not been enough places to kind of go well that's the place I'd like to live and lots of places that I have been to that I love as you know I've got a place over in Spain I wouldn't want to live in Spain but the novelty would wear off so that's the problem because unless you kind of win the lottery and can, you know, unless I can be a lady of leisure essentially, but then I'd be bored being a lady of leisure. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Dear, oh dear. Um, I think it's nearly a year now or not far off Lucy of you in the studio. Can't believe it. I know it's been a while. Ian Harper. Hello. 
Uh, Leon says, Rose Leslie is the actress in The Time Traveller's Wife. In the film. Is that her name, is it? Okay. I didn't realise that. Rose Leslie. It's a good film, though. I liked it. I liked it, I liked it. So I'm going to be watching the series when that comes out. And of course, dun, 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 Friday, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yay! Love a bit of Star Wars. And in talking about stars, not of the Wars variety, but of the Trek variety, um, is it Brave New World or Strange New World? I can't remember the name of it. That's flipping brilliant. Love it. If you've not watched that yet, get and watch it. You might need to download it because you can't get it over here yet. You can only watch it in the States. But I didn't tell you that. Anyway. Um, Ian says, how was your walk last weekend? Yeah. It uh, got called off. I didn't do it. I know. It's rubbish, isn't it? I'm disappointed, actually, because I was looking forward to it. On Sunday, instead, I went to visit my brother and his wife. And we took a long walk around Tinsfield. If you know where that is, Tinsfield. Um, so I shot down there and um, I had a walk around Tinsfield. It's a national trust place and it's very beautiful and it was really hot and sunny and it was lovely and I had my shorts on because it was that nice. Um, and yeah, that was nice. <sighs> um, Rose Leslie, time traveller's wife, she's married to Kit Harrington. Both uh, met on Game of Thrones. I'm having that Lucy check you out with your stats your fun facts Batman that's only because Sal's not here to beat you to do it because of course we didn't advertise this and so he didn't set his alarm to join us oops Jerry Poor is in the house um upskirt alert it says nice to see you again Lucy hope you're doing well I am thank you very much I hope you are as well Dragon Sin, love your leopard pumps and your flats. Thank you very much. I love them too. If I had won the Euro Millions, I would buy you a dream place for you and your family. Oh, Matthew, that's really kind of you. Didn't though, did you? <sighs> There's no point in telling me what you would do if you had some money. I want to know when you've got some money, what you're going to do. Uh, Stranger Things season four, Lucy, end of this week. Yes, indeed. I still haven't seen season three. I must get on with that. Um, beat me to it, Ian. Lol. Uh, Joseph, can I sit on your lap? But you are not here to sit on my lap. Um, Jerry, hello. How are you? I glad you've made it. You can't stay too long. <laughs> um, everyone's saying hello to Jerry. Spending time with my brother. Oh, well, that's nice. Family is very, very important. So that's good. Kirk says, I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to catch you on a live chat. I've been working, so I haven't been able to see your live chats lately. Not to worry, Kirk. You are here now, and that's what's most important. Thank you for joining. Just stopping by to say hello. Well, I'm glad you have done, Jerry. Uh, Cool Mix says, can you put ballet slippers on, please? I'm in the studio, so I don't have any to hand. Otherwise, I would have happily done that for you. But I don't have any to hand, any to hand here. Hermosa says, Sam. Not sure what that means. Hopefully it's not rude. Uh, Going to kick off with park runs every Saturday now to lose a few pounds so I can get in my bikini again. I need to do that. But I don't enjoy running. I've decided. I really enjoy long walks. So when I went to Tintsfield on Saturday. Rewind. When I went to Tintsfield on Sunday, that was really nice. But I'm a fair weather walker. That's my problem. I don't want to walk in the rain. Um, but I must, I must, um, if you know the rhyme, um, I must start. So I've been watching, so as you all know, I've got a VR headset and lots of people on the forums I belong to for said headset, um, do lots of different physical activity games. So there is one called Supernatural, um, which is supposed to be really good. I have I know nothing about it. There's things like Beat Saber where you're banging on the drums. So that gets you moving. There's Fit VR, things like that. And I must, even if I only spend 15, 20 minutes a day on it, I really ought to schedule some time. In fact, I might do it. I might put it in my calendar to say that 15, 20 minutes a day, I just do that, get some exercise. Because that's the problem. I don't move enough. 
Don't move around. It's not good. Not good at all. Um, gonna uh, uh, part runs. That's Keanu. No, the film was Rachel. Yes, Rachel McAdams. I was gonna say I didn't recognise the other name. Rachel McAdams. Thank you, Leon. You are right. That's exactly who I was thinking of. She's the actress. Um, in uh, a little bit in the actress. Oh my goodness. No, the film had Rachel McAdams in as the actress, but the TV program is Rose Leslie alongside Theo James. Right. We've got that clear up. Cleared up. Rachel McAdams. That's who I was thinking of. Um, hope y'all doing good. Jerry, uh, you know how to win me over with your little yells. Uh, I love a stat, but I'd rather have a foxy lady instead. Yeah. Uh, what shoe have you got on? I I don't have any shoes on at the moment. I was going to put my leg up. That's probably not a good idea. Um, would you have uh, Would you have liked a diamond ring? I love a diamond. Do you know what? Every girl loves diamonds. It's true. They'd be lying if they said otherwise. Kurt Murray says you're welcome. Uh, thank you very much. When it gets to the one year studio anniversary, I will find out later. It has to be Piggy and Little Nightmare. Sorry, Keanu. Sort out the date and we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Jerry, Fraz boy. Hello, dear. Hello to you. Um, Rachel McAdams, gorgeous. Yes, yeah, she's beautiful. Uh, hello, nice to see you again, says Evan. Hello to you. Nice that you could join. Do you remember me? Well, I try and remember most people. I do rec I recognise the name, Evan. I recognise the name. Um, give me some bits of info about yourself and I might be able to recall a bit more. I don't like running either, so we'll see how it, long it lasts. I have always said that there has to be a ball involved for me to enjoy physical activity. So we'll have to take a, take a tennis long. Yeah. Do it like, um, like a game of catch with a dog. Throw the tennis ball for yourself right after it. Pick it up and then throw it again. See how you get on. Cool Mix says, I got my mum's black ballet flats on right now. Fantastic. I love a little ballet shoe. They're very comfortable. Um, where are your fox ears? They're here, Kirk. The only reason I've not got them on, what about if I just perch them like that? Is because I'm long got out of the shower and my hair is still damp. And if I put them on, it'll cause my hair to go flat in places. So because my hair is drying, I've not got them on at the moment. Sorry. Um, how are you, Miss Lucy? Says Jerry. I'm fine, thank you, Jerry. How are you? It's very kind of you to ask. Uh, where is that little rascal Enderman and Troy is missing in action? I know Troy, Troy's been busy. I know Troy's been very busy. Um, we've lost Roly altogether. Steve Morris hasn't been online for ages. Um, Enderman's not on. Uh, who else are we missing? Sal's not on tonight. All these people, all these people missing. Andrew's not been on for ages. What can I say? Stavros, are you watching? Are you on tonight? A uh, bit of film, a bit of a film buff, says Leon. Love a good horror film. Bloodier the better. What sort, of, what sort of films do you like? So, um, I like all sorts of things. I do like a good bit of sci-fi. I prefer Marvel to DC. I do like DC, but I do prefer Marvel. Uh, let me think. I do. Do you know what? I used to like horror films a lot when I was younger. And I don't mind gory. Gory is fine by me. Um, but I find they bother me more as I'm getting older. I don't know why. Um, I don't particularly like um, um, things relating to the occult. Don't, don't, don't like things like that. Um, but, you know, good vampire good bit of werewolf all of those kind of things monsters i have no problem with monsters either yeah but um anything a bit satanic or a cult i'm not mm, not into any of that um but yeah i don't mind actually there's most i like films i like action films i like romances i like comedies i like i like yeah i like it all i like it all. Um, 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 um um good evening from scotland hello brian how are you um are you doing any shoe dangling videos again in your room for another try on haul if you ever return to your home i do sometimes go in there not very often um yes i must sort that out i do apologize keanu says the main men are here quite right too keanu 
Uh, I have found the best way to keep fit. Oh, for goodness sake, the comments are coming in too fast. I can't keep up. Uh, I have found the best way to keep fit is when I take ladies' dogs out for a walk. Yeah, of course, I don't have my dogs anymore. How is Sarah and Katie and Charlie? Uh, Kate's a pain in the backside. Sarah's fine. She's had a busy day. And Charlie, I will be seeing in a couple of weeks' time, but they're all good. Thank you very much. Um, Jerry says, we in the building. Yeah. It's always nice to see you on a live, says Evan. Oh, thank you. Uh, everyone's saying hello to each other. I have even been prompt lately. Actually, Keanu, you have. You were a smidge late tonight, but... Normally, you wouldn't be showing up until half an hour in, but you're doing all right. Uh, Kirk, I'm going to see new Top Gun film on Friday. I'm going to the cinema tomorrow night. I don't want to see. When is Top Gun out? I bet I won't be able to see that tomorrow. Is that not out till the end of the week? Um, in which case, it may be Batman. Oh, no! I will be seeing Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness. Of course. Of course. I've not seen that yet. So that's what I should be seeing tomorrow. Um, but I will hopefully be seeing Top Gun very, very soon. What are you going to do on the Queen's Jubilee weekend? Well, Ian, the Queen's Jubilee itself on the 3rd of June is my birthday. So the Queen can do one. It's all about me on that day. I'm only joking. Nobody else will think it's all about me. It'll only be myself, me, myself and I. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. It's a bit all up in the air. I'm going to the Royal Bath and West show. Um, that's probably on the Thursday. Um, and then there is talk of doing a theme park or something one day over the weekend. Not definite at the moment. Never beat Buffy, Lucy. No, I know. A bit of Buffy. We like a bit of Buffy. What was it I was watching the other day? Oh, so I was watching the other day. Did you ever watch, um, what was it called? I Zombie. So I watched the first three seasons I think maybe even four I don't know the first probably the first three seasons and I've not watched it since and I ought to go back and check it out actually because I did quite like it but the guy one of the guys one of the vampires on that I was watching uh was on something the other day and I was looking at him thinking I know him from somewhere and then it clicked it was I zombie I think that was on the last ever episode of Magnum P.I. he was on Magnum P.I. is no more. Um, the Notebook, says Del Boy. I've never watched The Notebook. I must watch that. Hi, Lucy. Will you be wearing tights to work tomorrow, says Gary. Yes, I will. If you had to choose one film to watch one last time, what would it be? <laughs> one last time. Um, why am I going somewhere? Um, if I had to choose one film to watch one last time, what would it be? So I could never watch television again and I get to watch one film. That's a really difficult question. Um, it would have to be a feel-good film, wouldn't it, really? Um, probably a comedy. I don't know. You know, because part of me thinks, well, you'd have to watch a real classic of a film. Something like an old John Wayne, The Quiet Man. That is a top film. Top, top film. Or something with um, Bette Davis in it. A real good old black and white film would be fantastic. But then also you could do something like, you know, a bit of nostalgia. So watch Grease. I've watched it too many times. I could actually recite the whole film, actually, from beginning to end. So it probably wouldn't be that one. Or you could do something really funny like Bridesmaids or Juice Bigelow. Juice Bigelow is a good one. I don't know. That's a really tricky question. I think you look like Velma from Scooby-Doo with the glasses. She had a bob, didn't she? Hers was a bob. Like that. There you go. Did she have a fringe as well? There you go. <laughs> How's that? That's a bit more like Wurzel Gummidge, isn't it? I don't think I should be getting a fringe anytime soon. Get rid of that. Anyway, especially when you are walking three of them. Dogs. This is, we are talking about Matthew. Yes, well, I had two dogs. But none, not anymore. Lucy, have you seen the new Doctor Strange? No, I'm going to go and see it tomorrow night. You've probably been asked this, but could I see you in your outfit now? No. 
Um, <laughs> not long got out of the shower. You don't want to see what I'm wearing. Hello, Bradman. Thank you very much for the donate. Very kind of you. Evan, I like all kinds of movies, but especially comedy and horror. Absolutely. Me too. Uh, Lucy is our queen. Beer festival in the Lake District on Jubilee weekend. That sounds like fun, Keanu. More expense, but WTF. Can't take it with you. That is very true. Are you a natural woman or do... Or do you like wearing makeup? Uh, I'm wearing a bit of makeup now, actually, Ian. I don't cake it on. I don't tend to wear a foundation. I just wear a bit of bronzer. And I've taken my glasses off. So you can see I've got a bit of eyeshadow on. A bit of mascara. But I don't wear an awful lot of makeup. Not really. Um, do I prefer tights or hold-ups? Mm. Depends what I'm doing, where I'm going, how short the skirt is. Probably tights, if I'm honest. Um, last film for a proper laugh airplane. Yeah. 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 The Nylon Queen prestigious achievements. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, love airplanes, says Brian. Have you ever heard of a movie called Hell Drivers with Sean Connery? It's an old black and white hell drivers no i can't say i have um can you put on slippers just for me please i'm not begging <laughs> problem is i'm out in the studio i don't have an array of shoes with me I, i'd have to go in the house to get things sorry um oh thanks bratman loose is a natural beauty oh you're so lovely so natural that i put a bit of makeup back on after getting out of the shower just so I could come and do the live stream. <laughs> Wouldn't want to scare you. Somebody actually said to me today that I'd scared the sun away. Because I didn't have any makeup on earlier this morning. It's a bit rude, isn't it? King Kana says, hey, hey. Hello. And Matthew says, agree with you, Bratman. That's very kind of you both. If I didn't have plans, Keanu, I'd enjoy dropping in the Lake District. Jubilee weekend. I like the date, Lake District. I've not been up to the Lake District for a very, very long time. When I say very long time, I mean very long time. Last time I was up in the Lake District, I went to a party. It was carnage. It really was. Uh, right, we've got a hello from Parker Woodley. Apologies for having to get so close to the screen. Your name was in dark blue against a black background and I could barely read it. But hello and welcome. 12 Angry Men with Henry Fonda is one of my favourites. I never tire of watching it. 12 Angry Men, I don't think I've seen that one. Ooh, I like a bit of Henry Fonda. Did you know Henry Fonda and Jane Fonda had a very, very turbulent relationship as father and daughter? And it was only when they made on Golden Pond, and he was very old at that point, that they kind of made up. Sad but true. You don't need makeup. Uh, we love you as you are inside and out. Thanks, Brab. You should leave some shoes in the studio for special requests. I should, Kirk. That is very true. Maybe I should consider doing that. And then I'll be walking around the house going, where the hell are my shoes? I need to go out. Where are my shoes? And uh, completely forget that they're in the studio. Um, class film Keanu. I've not watched it. Uh, I bet you look delicious without makeup too. Ah, oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I think a lady should look natural. I don't like too much makeup. Very true. Hello from C O. Now then, C O C O. Where is that? I can't think. C O C O. Mm, don't know. Daniel Vaught says I love your smile. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yes, she would look sexy without makeup. Thanks, Ian. You would be very welcome. Carnage could be recreated. Yes, if alcohol was involved, it probably would be. You could go get some. We will wait, please. No. I'm going to be going in a minute. It's five to ten. Um, I don't know what I'm watching tonight. I will be watching A Lincoln Lawyer tonight, but only one tonight, because last night I watched two, and it, it had gotten late, and I should have only watched one because I was very tired, as I always am. But it kind of finished in a place and I was like, no, I still need to watch another. But tonight, I should only watch them one because I have an early start tomorrow. When are we going to get the Foxy Boxing Channel? I don't think it's going to happen, King Hunter. I'm afraid. Oh, Jerry says, love y'all. Does that mean you're off now, Jerry? Um, I don't think Foxy Boxing is going to happen. 
It's too resource heavy. Trying to get it organized is a nightmare. Uh, Bratman says, what have you got lined up to watch later and in the week? So Lincoln Lawyer tonight. Um, tomorrow night, I probably won't watch anything when I get home from seeing. What am I saying? Doctor Strange. Might, might try and. Oh, that came over quickly. I uh, might try and see Top Gun towards the end of the week because I would like to see that. I agree, Matthew Wells says Del Boy. Um, Colorado. Oh, Kirk says Co is Colorado, I think. Colorado says Rob. Ah, apologies for being late here, but I was on my way to see my brother. That's all right, Jerry. You're forgiven. It's not a problem. Uh, you've seen the staircase, question mark, says Brian. I haven't. And I haven't because, one, I've got lots of other things to watch and I need to get around to it. But also Keanu said it wasn't as good as he thought it was going to be and that's kind of put me off a little bit. Uh, you all know I'm in and out. Uh, one quick from me without your glasses before you go. I can't read any comments now, people. Not until, until I put my glasses back on because I cannot see. Everything is blurry. King Khan, I can see some of the comments. Oof, why? Don't give up, says King Khan. Uh, thank y'all for thinking of me. Thanks, Jerry, for coming along. Am I squinting too much? <laughs> YouTube would probably ban Foxy Boxing anyway, Lucy. It's very true, they might. The Foxy Lady is in full effect. Thank you. Doing well, Lucy. Took nearly an hour for your first yawn. I know. Not bad, is it? Have a cracking week, folks, says Keanu. I need to finish watching Book of Boba Fett. Do you know what? I picked up my ears then. I nearly did that. <laughs> what a moron. Oh, uh, yes, Kirk. Finish watching Book of Boba Fett before Obi-Wan comes out on Friday. And I think it's a double episode this Friday, isn't it? I was at on of my regular garden customers today. I was at one of my regular garden customers today and because I have had to increase my price a bit, she got rid of me. <gasps> Rude. Shame on her. Look forward to a tights pick tomorrow, says Brian. Bratman, chill dude, no one asked you. King Connor, sorry, what? Don't you be rude to my little Bratman. Uh, love you so much, Miss Lucy. Thank you, Jerry. And on that note, we are going to call it the end of the day. Ha ha, that's so funny, the ears instead of glasses. I know. What a numpty. Um, you're so funny. I am off. I am tired. I am going to go watch a Lincoln Lawyer before I go to bed. And hopefully my hair will have dried properly before I lie down. Otherwise, I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be like that. And then I'll have to straighten it. Um, so let's hope that doesn't happen because I have an early start. Um, right. Have a wonderful week, whatever you are doing. I hope the sun shines on you, wherever you are, because right here, right now, the weather is atrocious and I don't like it because summer is coming and it should be hot and glorious. And it's not. It's rainy and horrible and cold. Although it's really hot in the studio. Um, so have a wonderful, wonderful week. It's just to cover cost of fuel. I get it, Matthew. You've got, yeah, you should increase your costs anyway. Inflation and, my God, with the prices of everything else going up. Um, but there we go. Thank you all so much for joining uh, tonight. Really, really appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, please do so. It's really, really important. I will love you forever if you do so. Um, so thank you for joining me tonight. Jerry, y'all be blessed. I love it. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you all on the next one. Sweet dreams to you, says Kirk. Uh, have a great week. And the same to you guys. Thanks very much for joining me. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.